friends, it's Mitty Man coming back at you for Walker's Music. We got another word for today. We uh, give God the praise, give Him honor, life, health, and strength for whether it is we give Him the glory. Could have been the other way, people, but God so fit. God so fit that He will touch us this again this morning with the finger of love. Woke us up on due time, and for that we give Him. The honor. We'd like to say also we want to give a shout out to the YouTube fam, Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT, as well as Mama JT. Y'all know the routine, we love you, and there's not too much you can do about it. Forgive this squeaky chair, people. It's time for me to get the three and one all out again, I guess. This is the worst chair I ever seen. <laughs> but at any rate, we also want to give a shout out to the end time harvest game. Uh, from Brother Michael, Elder Michael McCray, Brother L.A. from Kingdom Knowledge, Brother Hottencliffe, Brother P.P. Drawing, Brother J.T., Brother Papa J.T., as well as Brother Orange Flavor. And i also like to comment on uh, something that Brother L.A. said on, on one of the videos I was uh, watching last night about this here thing, about this here thing in China. And he was saying and pleading, and he made a plea to everybody that we need, to, as a gang, we need to get about trying to spread this gospel and get everybody saved. But the time is at hand, fire in the sky, what not, people. All this been predicted by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ himself. He showed a lot of things to John in the book of Revelation. He showed John the end time. John could not understand the things that he was seeing of the future, in which I believe it was this day right here John was seeing, but he couldn't. As Jesus was showing him these things, John could not re could not identify and relate to the things that he saw, but he did the best he could in explaining these things. And uh, I'm with uh, Brother L.A. 100% on this, people. We need to get about our father's business. And it just so happened, and I got up early this morning, I think it was about it's 6.42, and I think I got up about something 6, it was about it wasn't quite six, I don't think, but I, that's when I got up. But when I did get everything, got myself together, and I came as usual. Most of the time, I don't do it all the time, but sometime I go to YouTube first and I check. I check to see if anybody set up anything current, uh, for, especially for my brother L.A. from Kingdom Knowledge. I check that. It's sort of like the news before the news. In other words, and uh, but this morning so happened. I like I said, I, I do I, I don't do it most like I I say, like, I say it like this. Here, most of the time I check YouTube first, and then I will do the word for the day. Um, but this morning it was like uh, it was like uh, when I when I went to the landing page, and as I. I think I was telling Brother JT that uh, I have not been seeing a lot of his videos on YouTube for some reason. I missed the, about the last, what, got three or four days or whatever. But they're just not there. And uh, even now, I go to the landing page and I see no video whatsoever. And I go to the, the page. I go went to your, JT's page and didn't see it. But this, this morning was strange. You know, we lost our brother, uh, Grover Washington, Jr., before the turn of the century, before the year 2000. I think brother Grover Washington passed away in in 99. And uh, they was, uh, somebody had uploaded a video uh, sh uh, showcasing his one of his songs that he made called Mr. Magic. I thought about brother J.T. Carr, if I'm not mistaken, I think Brother JT did a video tutorial on Mr. Magic. And so I sat there and I was listening to it and I went and tried to get me a cup of coffee there and I was listening to it and uh, and something came to me and I thought about it. I said, you know, out of all these, we have so many, so many great musicians and uh, famous musicians. And, and we call them, we said famous. I. You know, I, I try to do that word kind of loosely and be restrained sometimes when I use the word famous. But I think everybody knows what I mean. People of notoriety, people that have done things and, you know, that have, have, have done notoriety or notable things. And we, we have a tendency to, we, we, we give them an extra accolade. 
But at any rate, let me move on. I don't want to make the video too long to get my, my point across. But I was thinking about all the great musicians, and it was just so happening that I would land on and, and see a, a, a Grover Washington video this morning. And I was really, really, really crazy about Grover Washington wasn't playing saxophone. Uh, him and Kenny, Kenny G were probably my two favorite saxophone players. And uh, thinking about him, and, uh, and I thought about life. Like Brother L.A. was saying, I thought about life. We will not hear people but that much. We hear that long, and I feel we should do everything we can while we can. God gives us gifts, and what we do with those gifts are our gift back to God. In other words, the Bible tells us that God created everything for His pleasure. Not for your pleasure. He created everything that God created. He created for Him and for His pleasure. And... So I was just thinking about that, and I think about all the many great musicians we done had, we have lost, and just these last few years, like Michael, for instance, that's one one of them, a great, great, great giant of them in the music industry, Ray Charles, and you know, just to name two or three, and like I said, our brother Grover Washington, and it got me, to, it led me to believe people that, you see, no one wants to think of themselves being not on this earth once they are here and everybody tends to think that it always going to be the other person but people one day one day somebody going to look in that obituary column and they're going to see our name you're going to see midi man name if the jesus delay is coming you're going to might going to see you're going to see brother la's name it's a fact people that it is appointed unto men once to die but after that the judgment so in other words, death is nothing final, but we don't understand it, and we will never understand it as long as we're in this body. So that's how come I just came to, just to, let, just to say some things about, to give people a little bit more hope. It is not death that we have to fear, according to scripture. We don't have to fear death, and then we look and we think about the ones that are going on. If they could come back and tell us, if they could, I believe if they could just come back and just tell us some things. That would ease our mind about the way we feel about it. They'll tell you, hey, man, you, you need to come on over here. Because I remember Jesus said that. He said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man the thing that God has prepared for those that love him. So I just feel, people, everything that we have in the natural start first in the spirit. So if we have music here, then there's some type of music where God is. Remember, God created everything. Everything come out of the mind of God. So if we got some music here, as I remember Brother uh, brother Bruce Allen told this here to Jermaine, Jamal Hartwell in an interview he had with him. He said, if we have music here, then it's something. It's an indicative of a, that God has it where he, it came from God. So when we got computers, and we got all these things, everything that we have here in this physical world that we see, first had to reign in the spirit world. It came as an idea from somebody, and all mind, our minds said everything comes from God. So can you imagine, people, the thing that we got with God? Can you imagine the, what, what the things and gadgets or whatever? Ain't no telling what we got. Well, with that said, people, I think that ought to whet our appetites to not think about this side so much because this is not really for real yet. We are just getting ready here to get ready to live with Christ. That's what's going to be grand. And the only way we do it, we got to pass from this to that. Now, I understand, people, we don't understand death as death per se. But see, remember, Jesus said, he that believeth in me shall never die. So, we know death came by the curse. Sin brought forth death. That's the curse. But remember, Jesus redeemed us from the curse. So in other words, now if he's redeemed us from the curse, that means death as it may have been when you are not redeemed, it doesn't apply to the redeemed. Think about that, people, just for a second. And I give you something to challenge you to do some study on. Think about what Jesus said. I have come that they may have life. And you remember, Jesus said, I am 
the way, the truth, and the life. He told that to Mary and Martha when he came to get Lazarus up. He said, he told her, he said, he, she, she asked him, she said, Lord, I know he's going to get up again at the last day. He said, I am the resurrection. I'm, I am the life, meaning he's going to get up right now. So in other words, he said, he that, he that live it and believe it shall never die because we are redeemed from the curse. So now we need to study and we need to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal some truth. People, there are some things that he cannot explain to us right now, some things we cannot handle right now. But rest assured that we can always what? We can count on God. With that being said, this is Mitty Man saying I hope you have a good day. Uh, everything you get and I hope you get everything you need and everything you desire is, is in, in the Lord's will. But remember, whatever you get or whatever you get into, if God isn't in it, it's best that you get out of it. This is Mitty Man saying peace and goodbye.